Are you ready to level up your life with AI? In this video, I'll show you how you can start using ChatGPT to improve and simplify your everyday life. If you've never used ChatGPT before, watch this video to learn how to create your account. But other than that, let's jump right into it. And one of the first things you can do when you start using ChatGPT is to utilize this menu up here. As you can see, you can continue, clarify, exemplify, expand, explain, rewrite, shorten or treatify. This can be a very helpful starting point and also definitely shows the importance of follow-up prompts. But let's test this and just type in, please write me a text about how to use AI in everyday life. And then you get your output. You see here GPT makes a quick explanation and then makes six distinct points, but maybe you want more, so click on please continue. And you'll see GPT goes on with point seven and writes even more. Hmm, but maybe that was way too much now and we are too late to read everything, so let's click on shorten. And as you can see, ChatGPT takes its work serious and really gets shortened to one small paragraph. And maybe now you think, hey, that sounds great. Let's tweetify that. And ChatGPT gives you a tweet that you can use right away, even with a hashtag. But maybe that's all too vague, so let's exemplify that. And ChatGPT exemplifies it in a version of a tweet. So this new menu is definitely great for beginners. And especially the tweetifying is something I really like, because you can come up with dozens of tweets in a very short time. Another great thing you can do is to use ChatGPT as your proofreader for spelling and grammar mistakes. So let's just use the text that I use for my coaching business. You put it in quotation marks as I did. And then let's just say, please proofread the above text for any spelling and grammar mistakes and correct them. Give me a bullet point list of all the changes you made. And there you go. Well, some of this is not necessarily relevant to me as this is an Instagram caption and is written in a specific way, but you can definitely pick up on some mistakes and errors that you make. And maybe you feel like your text is not quite what you want, but you cannot get the exact style. So just ask ChatGPT to do it and say, please rewrite it in a conversational tone. And always keep the importance of follow-up questions and prompts in mind, because remember, ChatGPT remembered what you said and what you've done before. So maybe now you want to say, please rewrite this text in the style of a Pulitzer Prize winner. And you can pause and see the tone that he is taking now, but it's very, very sophisticated. And maybe you want to produce even more content, so let's just say, elaborate on the information and create a part two of that text. So you can see you can really do a lot with follow-up prompts and create content and change things in a matter of seconds. Now this maybe gets a little bit too complicated what he's writing here, so let's just say, make it easy to understand at the level of the second grade. And there you go, well it's very easy to understand now. Another use case is to let ChatGPT write messages or emails for you. Well, I think letting ChatGPT write your emails probably takes more time than just writing them yourself. But if it's something that's very uncomfortable to say for you, or you are not quite sure about how to formulate something, then you can for sure use it as inspiration. So let's say your boss writes you an email to stay longer at work. You have something planned with your spouse and you're not quite sure what to say, how to deny it. So let's just ask ChatGPT to do that in a polite and friendly way. And there you go. Well, that doesn't even sound too bad. But again, use it as inspiration. Sometimes you can use the whole text, but it really shines when you use this kind of things as inspiration for yourself. And again, Especially when you struggle with formulating something or not quite sure how to express yourself, ChatGPT can really help you with good ideas. Going back to good ideas, ChatGPT can really help you with a lot of things and can give you a lot of inspiration. So, for example, maybe your father's birthday is coming up and you are not quite sure what to give them. So let's just ask ChatGPT for a few ideas. And you can definitely use some of these as inspiration. And again, never forget the power of follow-up questions. So just specify what your father likes or what he does in his life a little bit more. So let's do that and say he is usually dealing with a lot of stress, he is into science and he loves a good coffee. And see what comes up now. And the ideas get way more specific as you can see. And remember, you can add even more details. This can be a great source of inspiration for a lot of different things that you maybe think about. So you can just generally use ChatGPT as your personal assistant and ask it all kinds of questions that are going on in your mind. 
Another great thing you can do is to use ChatGPT to summarize articles if you really cannot be bothered to read them but want the information. Or maybe you don't have that much time. So let's test that and go to this article here about AGI and just copy the whole article. Well, maybe the whole article is a little bit long. ChatGPT cannot handle that many tokens. So let's just copy half of it to begin with. Then we go back here, put the article in quotation marks and say, please give me a bullet point summary of the most important information in the article. And there you go, no need to read the whole article anymore, uh, which I did anyways, by the way. But yeah, let's go back to the site, copy the second half and summarize that as well. Putting it in quotation marks and then please summarize this article in bullet points. There you go, this can save you a ton of time. And of course, you cannot just summarize articles, but also books. So let's test that and tell ChatGPT, please give me a summary of Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself by Dr. Joe Dispenza. Man, this would have spared me from reading a lot of boring books in my school days. And just to be clear, I'm not saying don't read your books. I'm just saying if you want to cheat, at least do it right. Which is why we of course want to learn more about the book, so let's say please give me the 10 main ideas in bullet points. And this is just freaking awesome, you can absorb so much information with this. And you can use this to decide if a book is really worth diving deeper into it. I think I'm going to use this a lot. So let's say point 7 sounds very interesting, so let's just tell ChatGPT to please elaborate on point number 7. All of the information out of the book sounds great, so let's just tell ChatGPT to please give me three practical steps that I can implement starting today. Practice gratitude, start a meditation practice and challenge negative self-talk. Definitely good tips. Actually just let me say one thing real quick to this thing here. I am not good enough, replace that with the thought I am capable and deserving of success. If you use affirmations like this, it can be helpful, but often you still have this voice inside of your mind that says, no, I don't believe that, I am not capable, I am not deserving of success. And deep down your subconscious doesn't believe that you are. And using affirmations like this will make them very ineffective. Instead you maybe want to try, in the past I used to believe that I'm not good enough, but now I am so grateful for the fact that I'm working on changing that. Way more believable for yourself and your subconscious in many cases. So just a quick shout out to my coaching business at this point. Maybe you want to check out my other YouTube channel, the link is probably down in the description. Another great way to use ChatGPT for beginners, which I also use a lot, to help you come up with YouTube titles, headlines for articles, email subjects or things like that. Let's just ask ChatGPT to come up with 10 ideas for my monthly mental health newsletter. We'll just elaborate on the topic a little bit more, it's about taking responsibility for yourself and your healing and focusing on yourself and not on external circumstances. And sometimes you can use these right away or you refine them even more and of course use them as a starting point for your own inspiration. You can use ChatGPT in all kinds of creative ways to help you with numerous tasks, be your assistant or help you have a bigger work output. What is one creative way you plan to use ChatGPT? Let me know in the comments. One thing is for sure, AI won't go anywhere and will just get better and more and more advanced. So in order to get ahead of the curve, you just need to start using it and experimenting and playing around with it. Also consider subscribing to this channel because I will share more and more ways on how you can use ChatGPT or other AI tools to simplify your everyday life and not get left behind. See you in the next video.